Hey guys, today I'm going to try something new. It's going to be a little bit different video style and format. The reason for this is because I have one big problem to solve right now. It's my master's thesis. It is roughly 100 page write up that is due in two weeks. And I'm currently really struggling to get going with the writing process. It's not like I don't know what to write about. It's just, it's really hard for me to force myself to sit down and start writing. I keep putting it off, I keep procrastinating, and I'm sure I'm not the only one in this situation. And I recognize that this is a problem which I need to overcome as soon as possible. And I thought I'm probably not the only one who is struggling with the writing of whatever. It doesn't have to be a thesis. It could be anything that you have to write and you just can't force yourself to start writing. And so here's something I thought about doing. In order to get myself out of this writing block, and by block, as I said, it's not like I don't know what to write about, I do. It's just I don't want to. Um, I thought of bringing in some fun into the whole writing process. And one thing is that I thought it might be really helpful to film the whole writing process. Like this is going to make it a little bit more exciting, hopefully. And also try to make it sort of like an adventure. I don't know if that makes sense. Well, the reason I came upon this idea is was this book. Um, I had it sitting on my shelf for like the last couple months and I'm sure you've heard of it. Um, and the whole idea of this book basically summarized is that whatever you're trying to do, if this is a task you don't really want to do, but you still need to, try to make this task to feel good as, as much as you can. Uh, bring in some fun and try to make it a little bit as an adventure and see where it takes you. And so that's exactly the goal with the whole filming of my thesis writing process. Like honestly, the whole week, the whole last week, I had a lot of time to write, but I was just doing pretty much nothing. I would be reading about how to write a thesis and how to structure it, but I haven't produced a single sentence in this week. And not only that, I even didn't have enough motivation and uh, uh, mental strength or mental power to even film a single YouTube video. And then yesterday I got an idea, like, why wouldn't I combine filming and producing YouTube videos and writing? So the whole plan is for now to film at home in my home office, occasionally film at Starbucks maybe because, you know, switching environment sometimes is really helpful to uh, get that creativity flowing and uh, make it feel a little bit like an adventure going out, make sort of a coffee date with myself for those writing sessions occasionally. And also condense my writing sessions to only four Pomodoros consisting of 45 minute writing blocks, 15 minute breaks. And four of those blocks each day hopefully should bring me much further than I what I have accomplished so far. And in the next few weeks, hopefully I'll have a decent looking thesis put together. For obvious reasons, I can't share the exact details of what I'm writing about, but it's gonna be more like about showing you what I've done to make myself feel better about the writing part. Now, what I have so far, my starting point before approaching this thesis writing, is that I do have a relatively detailed outline of my thesis. It's about 30 page word document with figures that I produced a couple of weeks back. And uh, I also have my figures or most of my figures ready and in publication quality. And those also took me a few weeks to produce because they're complicated figures, uh, good quality, transparent settings. And after I'm done with the publishing of the thesis and also my first first outer paper, which will follow right after the thesis, and I still yet have to write, I'll make a video about how to make those publication quality figures that I made, because that might be really helpful for someone. And I use Julia to produce all my figures and I'm really proud of them. They look really nice. So at this point, I do have as I said, a really rough outline, which needs a lot of tweaking and adjusting to make it to the final outline of the thesis. And I do have most of my figures. So it's not like I'm starting from scratch. Uh, it's more like a final stage of the writing process because there is a lot of it that goes into writing a thesis. It's not just writing part. It's knowing what to write about, the whole analysis of the data that 
was previously collected need to have like needs to be already um, collected, analyzed, and visualized in some way. So I do have my plots. I have my um, animations or animation videos that also will be part of that. Now the plan for today, for the next four hours, is to come up with a detailed outline worthy of a thesis and then start writing the methods section. Because from what I read and from what my advisors usually tell me is that writing methods section first is the easiest way to start writing anything because you are the most familiar with how you've performed your experiment, uh, what algorithm I used in my simulations, and whatnot. I do think that using 45 minutes for writing and 15 minutes for break is going to be more productive for me personally, because having 25 or 30 minute writing sessions feels quite short, and five minute breaks are usually are not enough even to make yourself a coffee. So let's go. So I'm done with this first Pomodoro session of 45 minutes and what I've accomplished so far is that I have a detailed description of uh, my outline and what I would like to talk about. I might still need to reorganize some sections so that the flow of the um, information is better, but I think that's good enough for the first 45 minutes. So I'm gonna spend the next 45 minutes in setting up my LaTeX document. I'm gonna be using Overleaf as for all my LaTeX related document writing. And then I'm gonna be showing you the template that I'm gonna be using for writing my thesis as well. But for now, it's time for a break. And I think I'm gonna go my, make myself a coffee and probably start the laundry since I'm working from home. So I might just use that time a little bit more productively. Yeah, see you in a bit. I'm back from the second break and I made myself a coffee. I'm ready to start my third Pomodoro session. I'm not gonna lie, trying to film it and write anything is not as productive. Maybe it's because it's the first time for me trying something like this, but I know I could have done a lot more in the 45 minute slot uh, that just ended. But as of now, I have created the outline, put everything in, and that's about it. I haven't really started writing anything. Um, so I'm gonna quickly show you how that looks like. Um, yeah, anyway. So I have my title page, uh, dedication, abstract acknowledgements, and then contents. So the content, as you can see, is quite detailed. Um, I ended up with seven chapters plus additional, uh, like appendix, uh, plus additional information, basically. And then list of tables, list of figures, uh, acronyms. This is something I've never done before, but I think that will be helpful. So I have my general outline. And then what I'm gonna do from that point on is like go into each section of that outline. So try to write a little bit in every section. Uh, basically just main points what I want to say in each part of the thesis or in each section. And also include any figures that I think will be helpful to support my main talking points. I think that third Pomodoro session might be the last one because I'm running out of time and that filming thing also took some time to figure out how to do things. Um, so if you have any suggestions for the filming part or what you would like to see, let me know in the comments below. Or in general, if you have any suggestions on how do you approach these writing, large writing uh, projects, um, share your experience. I'm looking forward to read that, have a conversation. So as I said, that third one probably will be the last because I need to go and take care of things around the house and cook because the kids are coming back from school uh, in about an hour and a half or almost two hours actually. But anyway, this is, um, yeah, a life of a mature student right here.
So at this point I have completed three Pomodoro sessions and I'm gonna stop at this for today because honestly I don't think my brain can handle more and secondly I need to go and make dinner. But the key takeaway from today's exercise is that it helped me to achieve two things. One is that I have a good structure or backbone for my future writing. So I can just come back anytime, pick up where I left, open a section, say methods or any other chapter that I created and start writing. So I have my figures laid out in the order that I want to, where they belong. I have all my chapters and subtopics and I thought about what I'm going to include in the appendix. So that's one thing. And then the second thing is that when I was trying to write a couple of sentences under each section or subsection and how these individual pieces of information should relate, I realized that I do need to do some more literature search on particular topics or ideas to back up my claims. And I wrote them down. So I am going to do a little literature review or search and reading off screen in the next day or two uh, before I pick up the writing again. Because really, when you sit down and to write, you need to have your ideas collected, gather it, and just ready to write, you know, so that the workflow is not interrupted by constantly needing to go back and forth between the literature and the writing. And that's what I need to do next. So do some reading. And honestly, that whole process today help me to you know, overcome that initial resistance that I had to, to writing. And I knew it, I read it a lot of times that the most scary thing is just to start. Once you start, it's not as scary anymore because everything just becomes clearer in your head and you have a plan for action or you know much better what to do next. Anyway, at this point, I'm just rambling. So, so I'm gonna stop at this for today and I see you next time.